Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how you doing out there tonight? <laughs> Uh, I am your host on tonight's show, John Pointer. Others have come before us, others will come after us. But this is the last talk show. Now before we get right into the stuff that needs to be discussed, which is why America is failing right now, we're not discussing what matters. We're going to discuss what matters on tonight's show. But I have with me two very lovely young ladies. Let's clap it up for them already. Let's clap it up for them already. <laughs> to my right, we have Josie and we have Rebecca. Is it Josie? Yeah, it's because you said Josie. It's Rebecca. <laughs> it's Rebecca. <laughs> See what I'm doing, y'all? I'm, I'm so excited. Oh, but that's okay. Now, I want you two to give us very brief bios on yourself. Just tell us a little. Tell us a little bit. Um... I work as a nanny, I go to PCC, and I play soccer on the side. Damn! Soccer! <laughs> Let's kick it! <laughs> alright, alright. And, Rebecca? Um, my name's Rebecca, I go to Cal Poly Pomona, and I'm a communications major, and I have a YouTube channel on the side. Ooh, make That's sure you it. follow, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now let's get right into it. These young ladies know how the game is played. We're going to get right into discussing what matters. We're going to start with effective pickup lines. Now, what we're going to do is discuss the efficacy, the effectiveness of these pickup lines, their use in the field, if you will. Before we get to the specifics, young ladies, what are we thinking about pickup lines? Do these work when they're used for you? No. <laughs> I don't know. Like, if it's funny, then... You get a respond, Maybe, but... Okay, okay, okay. Let's start, let's start with one. Let's just start with one. Huh. Do you believe in love at first sight, or should I walk by again? No. no. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, they did us dirty. So, so, so what's wrong with this pickup line? It's not funny. So yeah. it's not funny. <laughs> well, do you get... Some people do believe in love at first sight, and that's a good question. Do you, either of you, believe in love at first sight? Mm, no. So does the. I feel like a uh, physical attraction is at first sight. Right. But I don't know if you can fall in love at first sight. So should I walk by again? Because <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what the pickup line is trying to reach at. You know, because some people do believe in it. So then you've got them. They have, the response would be no to the question. But if they don't believe in love at first sight, then maybe I should walk by again. Nah, y'all, y'all, nah. No. But you could walk by as many times where we won't be in love. Did you hear what this girl just said? <laughs> you could walk by as many times as you want and you still ain't gonna be in love. <laughs> you know what, Let, let's get to the next pickup line. There's something wrong with my cell phone. It doesn't have your number in it. There's supposed to be like a pause. You have to wait for like the response. She's telling me how to pick up my eyes, man. I wrote these. Uh, I, I, I didn't write. So, so you're saying in order for it to be effective, I should say there's something wrong with my cell phone. And mm -hmm. you would be like, you had to get them intrigued. You'd be like, why? I don't have your number. We got some deep thinkers. Maybe I should go to college. These are some <laughs> bright kids. So, if they apply what you just said, they have to take their time, set it up properly. Do you think it could work? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Would that person, okay, okay, would that person get your number? <laughs> it depends on how they look. So she's the type where it's not all about personality. You gotta be looking good. <laughs> Man. And I like that. And I like when people keep it real on the show. I don't want no phoniness, okay? <laughs> all right. Now, I think we discussed this pickup line and its efficacy uh, to a certain extent. Let's get to uh, a different discussion point. Now, this is one that has caused a lot of controversy. <clears throat> it has been said uh, prominently by Al Sharpton. He hates me for this topic of our show. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe you ladies will find out why. Uh, what would Trachy Von Tate do? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out who, do you, either of you know who Trachy Von Tate is? Let's find out who Trachy Von Tate is. Uh, Oh, he is a gang member. Uh, he's been in prison a record 34 times. He's escaped prison 36 times. I don't know how you want to crunch the numbers on him. Uh, he broke into prison. Uh, he's a steroid and Viagra user. 
And lastly, he's a herpes survivor. <laughs> That's our background on Tricky Bottom That's our background. We're going to shape it off that premise. So now we're going to give you scenarios, and I want you <laughs> ladies to determine what would Tricky Bonte do. Let's go to the first scenario. Huh, huh, huh. David Duke, former Grand Wizard of the KKK, insults <laughs> Tricky Bonte's mother. How would Tricky Bonte do? <gasps> A. Dirt nap for David Duke. B. In oh, oh, oh. B. Inject David with an incurable. <gasps> uh, no. Inject David with an incurable STD. C, take him to Biggity Bompton and leave him at Ray Ray's house. <laughs> or D, give him a $5 bill. <laughs> what? what do we think? Um, C. You go with C? So, so Josie's going with take him to Biggity Bompton and leave him at Ray Ray's house. What are my Here's options you. again? So your option A, dirt nap for David Duke. B is you inject him with an incurable STD. C, take him to Biggity Bonkin, live in the Ray Ray's house, or D, give him a $5 bill. Um, A. Going with A. Dirt nap for David Duke. Well, ladies, since I personally know Trey Kivante, I've known him for many years, a good friend of mine, uh, he told me the correct response is B. He would inject him, he would inject, that's not funny, he would inject him with an incurable STD. Uh, he says it's sugar night style. Uh, I don't want to go too far with that, but we do know Easy e got AIDS. We don't know how. I don't think he was a homosexual. Let's go to the second scenario. I'm kidding. This is getting very awkward. Uh, scenario number two. Tricky Bonte is walking down the street with his current baby mama. One of his former baby mamas sees him and confronts him and his current baby mama. His, his current baby mama becomes upset. What would Tricky Bonte do? A. Slap his former baby mama. B, slap his current baby mama. C, leave them both for another baby mama. <laughs> or D, slap both of his baby mamas. Slap both of the baby mamas. So both of you are going with D. Oh, I said C. You said, Josie said C, you said I said slap both of the baby mamas. Now, Josie, why are you going with C? Because he's if he left the first one, he's probably going to leave the second one. Deep thinker. Crack that up, man. She's a deep thinker. Marcy, the audience, what are you doing? And you're saying D. Why do you say D? Because they're both stupid. They're both baby mamas. Oh, she's saying my ba Tricky Bonte's baby mamas are stupid. <gasps> well, I'm going to tell you this. D is the correct answer. Clap it up for Rebecca and Joseph because they were both they were both on the right track. But Tricky Bonte, what a complex young man he is. I don't know what we're going to do with Tricky Bonte. Uh, let's go to the next section of our show, which is I wonder. Now this topic is simply us positing, simply us positing questions, <laughs> discussing things that are mysterious and somewhat unknown to man. Uh, let's go to the first I wonder topic. Is cereal soup? <laughs> I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. The now, milk is a little. <laughs> Little. Okay, the, <laughs> the cereal is like the noodles or like whatever the shells in your soup. Could be rice. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Joseph, I'm thinking so well, Some people out. eat their cereal with warm milk. Maybe it is soup. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So cereal could definitely be soup. Uh, I think most people, when you think of soup, do you ever eat soup cold you can you can but it doesn't taste the same. it doesn't taste it, it, it ain't gonna slap like but it soup. depends on the soup it depends on the soup what kind yeah. of soup would you like to have cold i don't know girl <laughs> <laughs> right. that's an i wonder and that's the beautiful thing with i wonders there's no right or wrong answer we don't know if cereal is soup unless cereal is soup now let's go to our next I wonder uh, question. Uh, does size matter? It does. <laughs> Rebecca just straight up gonna say size. Well, yeah, if you, okay, what if you buy, buy the wrong shoe size? It's not gonna fit you. <laughs> Josie, what do you think? Uh, what size are we talking about? Uh, I you, know, where your mind went. Size. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, I think it does, it does. you think size matters. Okay, I, 
I would say I would say that size is it, it can be a complicated subject, a complicated topic. Uh, but I would actually agree because it's an I wonder. We don't know if size matters. But some ladies say it's not about size; it's about how you use it. <laughs> tennis racket, tennis racket, tennis racket. <laughs> If the tennis racket is too small, you know, it, it depends. However small, you got to be able to use that. <laughs> you know, I think that's our last I wonder question. Uh, I want to thank Rebecca and Josie for being on the show. Can we give them a hand, please? Can we? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, before we, before we go off the air, I do always like to end out uh, with a joke. Uh, your mama's so fat, she went to the Apple store for a Big Mac. Y'all have a good night. Thank you so much for joining the live talk show. I'm going to see you next time. You better do right and feel good. Thank you. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. All right, let's go. Before we...